In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple turkey sauce that pairs well with a number of side dishes like your steamed yam, rice, beans, and pasta. For this recipe, you need some turkey pieces, bell peppers, some more frozen veggies. Now, I didn't want these frozen veggies to go to waste and that's why I'm using it. You can use fresh veggies if that's what you have. You would also need some onions and ginger, garlic paste, seasoning cubes, paprika powder, parsley, onion powder, any cooking oil of choice, and of course, some salt to taste. The full ingredient list will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out there, okay? To marinate the turkey, add the turkey pieces into a bowl along with some garlic paste, onion powder, paprika powder, seasoning cubes, and a sprinkle of salt. I also added some dried parsley and a tiny drizzle of oil. Now give it all a good mix to combine, ensuring that the meat pieces are thoroughly coated with the spice mix. Now I usually like to marinate this for at least one hour or overnight or for at most 24 hours so that the spices would go right into the turkey pieces. But if you do not have the time, one hour is fine. But again, you can just go straight to the next step if you do not want to marinate at all, okay? Now I'm using my air fryer to grill the turkey pieces, but you can use an oven or you can fry it in some oil if that's what you prefer. But I highly advise against frying in oil, okay? Please try as much as possible to av avoid frying in oil. Now leave this to air fry for 25 minutes at 150 degrees centigrade. That's if you're using an air fryer. You can use 180 degrees centigrade um, for about 30 minutes if you're using an oven. While it is grilling, make the sauce. Add the bell peppers, ginger, and onions to a food processor and blend till it's roughly chopped. Alternatively, you can also use a high-powered blender or a normal blender, but um, you may have to add a little bit of water to help make the blending process easier. But ensure that your peppers come out roughly chopped, okay? Afterwards, add some cooking oil in a pan and allow to heat up. Then add the chopped onions and stir fry for a few seconds. Add the garlic paste, paprika powder, seasoning cubes, and some salt goes in next. Stir fry for another minute to wake up the spices. Next, add the roughly chopped peppers into the pan Mix together to combine. Then cover the pan and leave to fry for eight to 10 minutes. When the 25 minutes timer goes off on the air fryer, open up the air fryer and then flip the turkey pieces over to the other side and then close it up and continue air frying for another 10 minutes. This is just um, so that the turkey pieces would have time to brown very well okay now this is what the sauce should look like after frying it smells divine in the kitchen right now guys i wish you guys could actually perceive it <laughs> anyways when the turkey is perfectly grilled transfer all of the turkey pieces into the sauce and give it a good stir to combine Added a little bit of water to loosen up the sauce slightly. And then I covered again and left it to simmer for another two minutes before adding the remaining veggies. Now give it a final stir to combine and boom! Your turkey sauce is ready to be devoured. <laughs> like I said before, you can enjoy this sauce with some yams, with some beans, rice, pasta, 
whatever it is i think it's a very versatile sauce it will go really well with some yam fries or potato fries you literally should make this for your family and friends and do not forget to also share this video with them as well so that they too can learn to make something new as well join our family by clicking the subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video all right guys i think my job here is done for today i'll see you again next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe until then it's me the queen of fun and fuss cooking signing out right now take it guys